Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about standard views. So when I talk about standard views, I'm actually talking about a toolbar that has icons to automatically jump you to certain uh, locations looking at the model. Uh, we're going to talk about how to turn that toolbar on, how and when to use it right now. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about where this is at. You can access standard views by just going to camera, standard views, and you see right there, we have seven views, top, bottom, front, back, left, right, and this ISO one. Um, I can jump to any of these views just by clicking it right here, and you can see it'll, it'll change my view. We'll talk about exactly what each of these views is in just a second. You can turn a toolbar, and you can see I've got, I've got it right here on my default toolbar. On Windows, you'll go to View, Toolbars, and Turn on Standard Views. Mac, it's a little different. Uh, to get buttons to show up in this toolbar, you right-click right here, Customize Toolbar, and then you just have to drag the standard view up onto your toolbar, and then it'll be added there. Uh, you'll get the floating toolbar that you can dock on Windows. On Mac, it just gets placed as part of this top toolbar. All right, so let's look at this toolbar. This toolbar has six windows. Remember just a moment ago, I said there were seven standard views. For whatever reason, bottom view is excluded from the toolbar. So I don't, I don't get to see that one. I have the other six, but not bottom view. How do these views work? Well, there's a couple things it's gonna do. Um, I created this little model because it looks like the actual icons here. And they're small on the screen, but, but you can kind of see them. Um, so this, this will help align, hopefully, <laughs> align the memory of the using the button with what I can see on the screen. So if I hit the plus, or the, I'm sorry, if I hit the front view, it will jump to align to the front of my house. Now, important note, SketchUp doesn't know that this is the front of the house. It doesn't even know this is a house. To SketchUp, this is a collection of edges and faces. What it's doing when I hit front is it's aligning the camera to this red axis and flat against the blue. So basically it creates a plain red blue plane and then faces the camera at it. <clears throat> a couple things it's not doing. It's not changing your zoom level. So if I was to zoom way out like this and then switch between front and back, it would stay zoomed out like that. So it is keeping at whatever level zoom you currently have and just toggling front and back. It's also not changing your camera at all. So over here in camera, we have parallel projection or perspective. I turn parallel projection on, I get like this. I jump back and forth. It's not gonna change between parallel or pro projected perspective because it doesn't care. It's gonna just move the camera to a certain location. So I'm gonna keep perspective on. You can see front and back is aligned to the red-blue plane and looks at the front or back of the building according to this layout. So the front is going to this side of the red plane and pulling out till it shows the whole model. This one, back side. Same with left and right. In this case, it looks on the green-blue plane, looks at this face and shows on your screen. And this is the opposite side, of course. The top view is pretty simple. That is the green red plane. So looking straight down on top of your, of your model, whatever your model is. Again, just to reiterate this camera can be toggled between uh, parallel and perspective. And honestly, if you're trying to generate, say you're trying to generate scenes that you're going to send to layout for output, and you want to make your elevation drawing. So my front elevation, this view is probably what you're going to use. So I'm going to go to camera, parallel projection, and then hit that front view and save that as a scene as your front. That's perfect. So same for the sides here, even for the roof. So the one kind of view we haven't talked about, I'm going to go back to perspective and we're going to look at ISO. So ISO, short for isometric, is going to jump your model to a perfect three-quarter view of whatever it is you're modeling. So if I hit, so it looks like I'm pretty good, but if I click right here, see how that aligned a little better? My, my straight, my vertical lines are more vertical. Um, well, they're 
they're always vertical, but <laughs> they're nicely aligned because of the angle it's taking on the axis as it looks at this. So it's not gonna always jump to this same quarter view. If I come over to this side like this and I hit it here, it's gonna jump to a three quarter view of this corner. If I come around here, same thing. Over here, same thing. Even below, if I come looking like this and I hit ISO, it'll give me a three quarter view from below showing me that model. So it's not always aligning with this little icon right here. That's just representing an isometric view from the corner you're closest to right now. So when and why would you use these standard views? Well, sometimes if you're getting into a model, it might be nice to just jump back to, okay, wait, take me back to the front. And then from here I can zoom in and out or I can hit zoom extents. Um, just to kind of get alignment back to where I need to see something. A lot of times, if you're modeling something, something in the real world, maybe you have photo references or something like that, this allows you to quickly, you know, just jump through and see, okay, does that look like what my photo reference looks like? And I can kind of jump through and see that. And then, like I mentioned before, if I do take my camera to parallel projection, this is the way that I would go get nice, clean elevation drawings to send over to layout for output. So standard view, awesome, awesome tools, super easy to jump to the same spot to be looking at models from the same spot, the same location. You just have to remember what it is it's showing you and how to get to them and what happens when you click them. So a pretty simple set of tools really, um, but a great set of tools, especially when you're first starting out. It can be real easy to get kind of lost and mixed into your model and not know where up and down and left and right are. Those standard views can jump you back there. The important thing, of course, is if you're modeling something that has a specific front, when you model it, align it to that red axis so the front shows up when you hit front. You have people who model their buildings so that the front is coming out the right side of the screen, which is fine, but you have to realize when you hit front, you're going to get the side of the building instead of the front at that point. Hopefully that helps. If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use standard views? What do you think would make a good Square One video? We like making these videos. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.